Hi everyone, I'm M3 Anthony Koh, DY Study Display Lead for Singapore Air Show 2022. My primary role is the asset deployment of all the static display platform to CEC. There will be a total of seven assets to be deployed, namely the Apache, the H225M, MRTT, F16D+, F15SG, H450, and Aster 30. We break down the deployment in uh, three categories. We make the highly actually fly in direct to CEC. For the fixed-wing aircraft, we will perform a night towing from Changi Airbase East to CEC. For the H450 and the Aster 30, there will be land transport from the bases to CEC. One of the major challenges that we need to overcome is towing over a public road. The aircraft that we tow are really huge aircraft. We carry a multiple side surface to identify potential hazards. We need to remove lampposts, traffic signage, and even certain cameras on the road. Actually, even before the asset was deployed, we have a skilled drawing being planned out. With this skilled drawing, we identify what platform will come in first and which platform will come in later to ensure the whole deployment is carried out in an efficient manner. Prior to the arrival of these assets, we actually do a placement marking according to their size. This is to ensure we cater sufficient space for all the platforms. For now, my team member Yao Ting will share more about what happens on the towing day. Hello, I'm ME2 Yao Ting from A08 Squadron. I'm part of the Stair Display Committee. My team is in charge of the tow operation of all the platforms to the Changi Exhibition Centre. This is my first time participating in the air show, so I'm pretty nervous and excited at the same time because we are moving so many assets on public roads. The tow convoy will composite two safety vehicles up front with all the assets in the middle and one safety vehicle at the back. All the assets are being towed at 5 km per hour with a safety distance of 12 meters in between each asset. In my opinion, the MRTT is one of the hardest aircraft to tow as the sheer size itself will require a bigger turning angle in comparison to the fighters. For the smaller assets, we only require one tractor to move the aircraft over to a Chinese Exhibition Center. But for the bigger assets like the MRTT, we'll require the vans, the pack stairs and the tractors to actually move the aircraft over. Due to the aircraft being towed on public roads, the street lanes have to be removed so we have reduced visibility at night. But we have wing walkers equipped with safety vests and flashlights so that they can eliminate any potential hazards along the way and inform the tower so that the aircraft can avoid that area. We have to work within a short simulated timing so that the aircraft can actually reach CEC in a safe and orderly manner. I hope you have a better understanding of what goes behind the scene for stair display preparation for Airshow 2022. Goodbye.